Additional higher level uh, topic 11 is called wave phenomena. So if you're a higher level student, this is one of the ones you need to do. Um, but if you're a standard level student, this is actually one of your options. Now this option is called option A if you're an SL student. And um, it's actually called sight and wave phenomena. There's a little part uh, at the beginning then about uh, sight. That's worth looking up in a textbook, but it's, uh, it doesn't really give any really big um, uh, difficulties. I'm going to go over some of the things that do cause students difficulties. Okay, so if you're a uh, physics SL student doing sight and wave phenomena, in other words option A, there's a little extra section you need to do at the beginning of this about sight. It's about your eye and how we perceive colors and things like that. But uh, I'm going to go over standing waves. So a standing wave, uh, well a standing wave, uh, this could be um, two different waves that have the same frequency and amplitude oops my end didn't really look like an end here and amplitude but the key thing is they're both moving in opposite directions that's the key thing here in standing waves so if you imagine I've got uh, some sort of string, let's just say. And in that string, then I give, you know, one wave going this way, and it's sort of going to hit the end. It's going to bounce, you know, go this way, hit the end, bounce, go this way. And it's just going to keep doing that. That's not going to make a standing wave unless um, I've got two waves doing the same thing. So imagine then I've got these two waves, and then they're both sort of bouncing, and then bouncing, and then bouncing. The way that they're going to interfere with each other. Do you remember in the uh, core topic, uh, one of the topics we learned about in waves was about interference and you can have constructive or destructive interference. What ends up happening then is if you have a standing wave, you have two waves going back and forth opposite directions, they're interfering um, with each other either constructive or destructively. And what ends up happening is you end up with some sort of it looks like a, a vibration in the string, let's say, or whatever it is you're looking at. And that's kind of interesting because we can use this. So anybody who uh, plays a musical instrument, um, let's say you play a guitar. Well, then you know about standing waves because every time you pluck the guitar, you're creating a standing wave. There's a wave going back and forth from one end to the other of the string, going back and forth really fast. So the key thing that we're going to look at then is different types of standing waves. So I'm first going to look at uh, what we call closed, closed. In other words, there's a closed end with a closed end. Now, um, in this case then we're going to have, let's say we have our string here. So this could be our string and let's say it's that long. Now I'm going to show you three different situations uh, for the same string here. Okay, so I'm going to have the same string. This represents one end of the string and there's the other end. And I'm going to show you then, uh, let's just see here, another one like this. So, if these are my three different sort of strings here that I'm looking at, um, I can actually name, well, I can actually measure its length. And the string length, then we're going to call it L. That's going to be the length of the string that's going to be this distance right here from end to end. Okay, that's always going to be defined as L in this case. So then what I'm going to do is if I just pluck the string, so can you imagine, I mean this, this is a static thing I'm showing you, but we need to try to imagine this thing moving. So imagine I take this string and I pull it and then I let it go. It's going to vibrate or oscillate up and down. That's what it looks like. What it's really doing is creating standing waves going back and forth, but it looks like it goes up and down. So let's, let's take a look at how we can actually deal with this. So this uh, string, what's going to end up happening then is, maybe I'll draw this in green. I'm going to then create a standing wave that goes like this. Now what I mean, the reason I did the dotted uh, is just because it goes up then down, then up then down, then up then down. We say it has two nodes. A node is a spot where the string remains still. So this one right here, we actually call this um, the fundamental. OK, 
Okay, so this is actually, um, we can call this the fundamental frequency. Um, and some people also call this, um, what else could we call it? We could call it the first harmonic. That's a common word that we use. First harmonic. Now this next one, this one, um, we can call this the second harmonic. It turns out this is another standing wave possible here. And it turns out there's a third harmonic and there's any amount that you feel like adding. Okay, so there's a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever you want. So what we're going to do then is um, maybe I'll draw this like this. And this time the second harmonic is going to have one extra node. So in other words, it has a node at the end, a node at the end, and it's going to have one in the middle. That's the key to drawing these, okay? The next one, by the way, is going to have two nodes, uh, just so we're ready to draw them at least. And they're going to be equally spaced like this. So one node in the middle, two nodes in the middle, none in the middle. But for closed, closed, there's at least, there's going to be a node at either end for all three cases. So then what we can do then is take a look at how to draw a wave. It has to start here, has to sort of wiggle up and down or do whatever, but it has to pass through this point and pass through that point. So the only way I think that we can draw this is to do something like this. So maybe we have it go kind of up and then down and then back again. Of course, I can draw the dotted line version. That's that one. And the next one, uh, maybe I choose to go like this. Maybe I go up and then down and maybe down and then up. So if you take a look at this, then this is kind of a fun little game just to try to draw these. You can draw the next one and the next one if you feel like it. I'll draw the dotted line version. So what really happens is in this one right here, we have this thing then oscillating up and down here and up and down here. This is the equivalent in a musical instrument to playing, let's say uh, you're playing a note. Maybe we call that note C. Well, that could be this note, C, but then of course, uh, you can have the higher version of the C. I'm not gonna sing it, I have a lousy uh, voice and I'm completely tone deaf, so this doesn't really work for me. But um, you can have a C or then the next higher C or even the next higher C. In a piano, for example, you can do that, right? You play the one note, and then a little bit later you have another one, and a little bit later you have another one. So that's just making these next harmonics. That's all that's happening. So now the key thing I think here is to look at um, how much of a full wave we actually have represented here. So what I mean by that is, let's take a look right here and see, okay, um, this length how does it compare to the wavelength? In other words, the length of this wave. Remember, a wavelength is something that goes, you know, like a full, a full oscillation, maybe from top to top, or maybe from a bottom to a bottom, or maybe from here to here. All those would give me a wavelength. So take a look then. This length, what fraction of a wavelength is it? And if you can see, we've only got half of a wave. In order to make it do a full wave, sort of, we have to make it go up, and then down, and then finish. So we could say then that L is equal to lambda over two. That's what we could say here. Now on the next one then, take a look at that. This one right here then, we have L equals, and look, we have one half plus another half. So we have two halves of the wavelength. In other words, we have the full wavelength. So remember, L is the length of this and lambda is the wavelength, and that's measured in meters. Now this uh, last one here, or we have um, right here, look at how many halves we have. That sounds uh, awkward, but if you look at this, this is a half here of a wavelength. This is two halves, and the next one is one, two, three halves. So we can say it's three lambda over two. That's how we deal with closed, closed situations. So this could be anything that's basically a string, even a piano, it turns out, is a closed, closed system. But now what if we have uh, something like this? Open, closed. Now here I'm not going to um, spend as much time defining the L and the first, second, third harmonic because I'm just going to draw them uh, directly here. So here we're going to have something that goes like this maybe. 
So there are instruments that are like this. This could be, for example, like a trombone or a tuba or something like that. That's something where you, know, you blow into one end, so the waves have to be closed, but then there's an open end. Um, yeah, trumpet does this too, right? So you would have a closed end, but then at the end of it, you know, the other end of the instrument, it goes out like this. So in this case right here, we could also draw this. Um, and what we would end up having then is something like this. This time we have a node here, a node here, and a node here. But we can't have a node at this end because it's open. So what we do then is we consider no nodes in the middle, we consider one node in the middle, and we have two nodes in the middle. And there's a rule here with these things and it says that it has to be sort of up at the end. So it'll be like this, or like this. This one here goes all the way and then down and like this. Remember, the rule is here, this one has to be sort of up or down at the end here. And this one here, well, maybe it goes like, like that. So in the next video, we're going to continue with this and uh, show what these equations are and also uh, do open, open.